Hello, Bel Canto. I hope you're doing okay. I miss you. I've been thinking so much about my choirs in this long two weeks that we've been apart. Um, I wanted to make a little video just because I think when you're in quarantine and you're isolated, it's really good to see each other's faces. And I don't get to see your faces all right now, but I'm thinking of you. Um, yeah, so I miss the the class. I miss getting to see you guys all come in and making music together every day. Um, but we're transitioning to distance learning. And so I want to talk a little bit about what that's going to look like for us moving forward. So obviously choir is going to look and feel really different than how it feels when we're making music together. Because I think one of the biggest things that makes choir so magical is that it's singing something we love to do together as a community. and. So that piece is going to change. We'll still be able to do lots of music stuff, but the community piece is going to look a little different. So I want you to know that in this time, just like in real life, I'm here for you in digital quarantine world. I'm also here for you. So if you ever need to talk about anything or there's a part of, you know, the choir assignment that you don't understand or something that you want me to explain to you or anything that's going on. I'm always here to talk to you. You can email me. We can do like a Google chat or a Google hangout. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really thinking of all of you. I really care about you and I want you to feel supported and like you're not alone in this time. Um, plus I miss you guys too. So I would love to talk to you anytime that you want. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep looking for ways that we can connect like teacher to student and then also ways that maybe we can have sectionals or larger group discussions um, and stuff like that. Um, I also really want to encourage all of you ladies to take care of yourself right now when you're in quarantine. Um, so just a couple ideas. First of all, your mental health is so important. So set yourself up for success. Every morning, get up, have a routine, wash your face, brush your teeth, change your clothes, get ready for the day have like a couple small goals for yourself every day. I think if we let ourselves kind of slip into every day, not having a schedule every day, being sort of um, ambiguous, it's going to lead us towards a dark path mentally. So try to keep a schedule for yourself. Try to keep a routine. You're going to notice that that makes you feel more productive and more ready to face what's ahead of you. Um, also try to take some time every day to be away from technology because all of your coursework is going to be online and you're already on Instagram and Snapchat and TikTok and all of that stuff. So like try to have an hour where you're like, okay, no phone. Just to kind of give yourself some mental headspace there. Um, think about your social health. Try to FaceTime your friends, FaceTime your family, um, interact with people face to face instead of just like texting or online. And then lastly, think about your physical health. Try to exercise in some way, whether that's like TikTok dances or like online exercise videos or I don't know, just like building forts or being weird. Um, yeah, keep your physical health and your social health, your mental health, your emotional health, all those things in mind because um, those are so important and it's really easy to forget about those things. So Keep those in mind. Share ideas with your friends of things that you can do to stay healthy together during this time. Ah, I just care about you and I want you guys to be okay. So please be good to yourself. And okay, so kind of more practical side of stuff. What is choir going to look like? Um, the, the gist of this video is basically to give you an idea of what choir is going to look like moving forward. So then you can feel pretty good about kind of our structures and our systems together. Um, so the biggest thing that I want you to know is that choir is going to feel very flexible for us. Uh, if you're used to me, you're used to like everything being scheduled and everything like we know exactly what's going to happen weeks in advance, but this is just going to be a little bit more flexible. I want to gauge how you feel about what we're doing, ways that we can adjust things to make it better for you. So um, just know that it's going to be flexible. So here's the plan for week one. Um, I have kind of like four basic steps that you're going to want to do every single day. I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk about the first one here, like with my face, and then the other ones I'm going to show you by showing you my screen. So you can kind of follow along there. So the first step and the really important step for the whole rest of our time here with distance learning is make sure that you have a place that you can do music and be comfortable. 
So if you have siblings that are around or a family that's working from home, you need to try to find a space in your home where you can sing, where you can practice, you know, your solfege or practice your rhythm reading and feel comfortable doing that. So I would really encourage you talk to your parents, your guardians, your family, whoever you live with and say, one of my classes is choir. And as a part of that class, I have to sing, I have to warm up. I have to, you know, be recording myself singing. So is there a place where that would be good? Some people do it in their bathroom. Um, some people have done all their singing in their car because that's like where they feel the least pressure or like that people are listening. But I really encourage you like find a place now where you feel good and then just go there every time you have to sing. So for me in my house, it's the basement. That's where I have my keyboard and that's where I do my singing because nobody can hear me and it's just me by myself. So find a space for you. And so that's my step one for online choir. Find a safe space for you to sing and make sure that everyone in your life, everyone in your house knows that this is kind of a requirement for you and it's something that you need to do for choir. All right, so step one was get to a place where you feel comfortable singing every day. And then step two, you are gonna every day go to Schoology and then click on the Bel Canto e-learning log and in that log, it's just going to tell you um, every day what the plan for the day is. So um, it's always going to be laid out numerically so you know exactly what to do. Every day starts with daily warm-ups. So those are found in this link on Schoology. So if you click on this link, it will take you to um, basically um, all the warm-ups that we do, or not all of them, but most of them are in here. So I've kind of described how they work. Um, you know, a progression of how to do them. There's also a link to YouTube videos that you can use for warmups. Um, you can do warmups on your own, like you can make it up as well if you want, but I just thought I'd give you some resources if you don't have a lot of warmups in mind or, you know, want to make sure you stick with what we're used to doing. So that's that document. So you're going to warm up every single day. I would suggest doing, you know, five to six of these warmups, two to three in each section, or, you know, following one of the warm up videos on YouTube. So that's the second thing you're going to do is you're going to warm up. Then what you're going to do is go to sightreadingfactory.com, log in. Uh, we should all be super familiar with Sight Reading Factory since we use it all the time. Um, but on yours, it, it won't look quite like this, but every day you're going to practice sight reading. So you're going to click the big button that says start sight reading. And you get to choose what you want to practice. So I left this kind of open for a reason. If you want to work on your rhythm, you can work on your rhythm. If you want to work on, you know, maybe you feel really good about level four. So you want to try an exercise in level five. Um, you can go ahead and pick your time signature, your key signature, again, all of that stuff. And make sure that you practice. So you can choose challenge or free play. Um, and then you can practice. And what I'm going to do every day is I'm going to use my reports view to check your attendance. So I can check how much time you spent on each and every exercise. I can see how many exercises you've done, how much you have spent on them so that I can take your attendance every day. So I will be checking every single day to see if you actually practiced a full exercise. If you did, then you'll be marked as present. If you did not do an exercise, you'll be marked as absent. So that's how we'll take attendance every single day. Again, it's not an assignment. It's just this button here, start sight reading. Again, you can choose rhythm or your voice. You can choose challenge or free play, but know that you have to complete at least one exercise fully, do the full thing. Don't just open it and then click through because I'll know that you did that. Make sure you complete it fully and that's how I'll take attendance each day. So um, the next thing that you'll do after that is you'll go back to the slideshow and kind of look at what the lesson is for the day. It's going to feel different than in real choir where we get through like two full songs and we get a ton of rehearsal done. Um, it always takes a little bit longer when you're doing it online. So just know that the pace is going to feel a bit slower than how we do it in real life. So um, this is going to be kind of your step four after you've gone to your place where you can sing, you've warmed up, you've done your sight reading practice for the day, then you're going to go and look at the assignment. For our first week, we are basically spending the whole week trying to get a good handle on the song, God Will Give Orders slash Sweet Child. 
So the beginning um, is very sight readable. You guys are going to do a really great job. Um, it's in the key of B flat or um, G minor. So you're going to write in your solfege over the course of the week. And then on Friday, you're going to submit an audio recording of yourself singing what you wrote in your solfege for. So don't feel like you need to work ahead. You definitely shouldn't. Just do what is assigned to you each day. Um, don't try to work ahead. Again, you don't need to. Um, and then I have listening tracks. I have audio tracks. And it's all linked here in the slideshow. So just do what's on the slide for the day that you um, are on. And then at the end of the week, there's an assignment for you to submit to me. And again, if you have any questions or anything that's difficult with that, you can email me and ask for help. So again, your three steps every single day is first of all, go to, sorry, your four steps. <laughs> first of all, go to um, your safe spot where you can sing and you can feel comfortable. Second of all, click on your daily vocal warm-ups when warm up, five or six exercises. Third, um, go to Sight Reading Factory and complete one practice exercise. Um, it can be rhythm, it can be voice, it can be free play, it can be challenge mode. Make sure you complete one full practice exercise. That is how I will take attendance every single day. And then lastly, in the slideshow, figure out what your assignment is for that day and then complete just the assignment for the day that you're on. And that's your whole choir lesson for the day. So that's kind of what week one is going to look like. Week two, I'll be checking in to see how you feel about the format, anything that we can change, anything that we can do better. So if you have any questions, remember, you can always email me and I will check it and I will get back to you ASAP. All right. We got this, guys.